um, there was a connection that was really, really good. Okay, like um, there's great chemistry. We have the lovers. And the lovers is kind of like, you know, that, that really passionate chemistry um, that we don't find very often. Okay, so this is kind of, I would say, for me at least, it's like once in a lifetime. It, it's once in a blue moon. It, it comes, um, it, it rarely comes in the picture. So this is like meeting somebody for the very first time and you feel like your soul remembers one another. And this is like meeting somebody for the first time and then feeling very magnetically attracted to them. They might not be your usual type. They might not, you know, for example, if you have a type, if you like, you know, t tall, dark and handsome, this person might be a little bit outside of the norm. If you like, you know, whatever your, your preference is, like even, you know, uh, light skin, light hair, light eyes, I feel like they're very different from you. So whatever it is, they're a little bit outside of your normal type. But for whatever reason, you find yourself very magnetically like attracted to them. And attraction is usually indicative of a, a something a little bit deeper. It's like a, a soul connection. And so with this lover's card, I almost feel like for many of you, you're aware that this is something that, that is very precious. It is something that, you know, it's, um, it doesn't surface every year. It's once in a blue moon. It is very rare and the connection is very real and it's felt in a very visceral way. Like you can't really deny this connection. And so many of you might be shying away from it because it's, um, it's unexplainable. It's hard to explain. It's hard to make sense of it. And just based on the sheer fact that you don't know this person very well, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. But I do sense that there's this energy about the other person that they really want to pursue this connection. They're longing for contact. They're longing for communication. They're longing for you to reach out. And I also feel like you're thinking about them. You're trying to figure out how do I reconnect? What do I say? How do I approach it? How do I say something to make sure that they will respond? Because you don't want to just, you know, send out messages willy nilly and have them not respond. You're trying to craft the ideal message in a way where they have no choice but to respond. And so I feel like you're, you're in the process of crafting something, creating something, trying to figure out, you know, how do I do the catch all, um, uh, sentence so that the other person is sure to respond and so i feel like they're waiting on you they're they're scoping to see what you're doing they're curious about what you're doing they're curious as to what you're up to they feel like there has been some massive changes within you and they're curious and i feel like they are concerned they do care about you so it's not just nosiness and curiosity i feel like they do have that 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 quality about them where they do care about you and they want to know what you're up to and they care about what you're up to and they care about what you have to say. So whatever it is that you want to say, I don't feel it has to be carefully crafted. I don't feel like it has to come with strings attached. I feel like just as long as you're open and honest, this person is willing to reciprocate and answer, you know, and respond and, and, and open up that channel of communication. Okay. So the thing that I feel is really blocking the communication and we have the emperor and the devil and the emperor and the devil, this is kind of like refusing to succumb to temptation. Okay. This is like, uh, once again, I get a lot of, um, like passion and chemistry that you have with an, with another person. And I feel like it's, it's really, it's very strong between both parties. And I feel like you're the one trying to wait it out. You're the one trying to, um, you know, deny how much of an impact it's having on you. And you're the one trying to play it cool. And you're the one trying to like, not let your emotions, your feelings, your passion run away with you because you're still trying to figure this person out. You're still having trouble trusting this person 100%. 
And then I also feel like there is ego and pride here too that might be hindering and affecting this, uh, the communication in this relationship all along where two people are not really opening up and making assumptions about one another that might not be true. You know, so I don't feel like it's game playing. I feel like it's a mirroring energy and it's misunderstanding. And so let, let's just say, okay, you're, um, you, you have somebody that you're connected to, let's say via Instagram and, uh, you're scrolling through the Instagram account and you're seeing them with, you know, uh, let's say you're attracted to a female and you see her taking pictures with a lot of male friends, right? Let's say she's a heterosexual female and she's taking a lot of pictures with male friends and you're just like, wow, she's, she gets around or wow, she has a lot of suitors or she's a, she's flirtatious or she's talking to a lot of people. And so I feel like you, you feel like, well, she doesn't need me. And then you start to detach and you start to detach. You start to, um, to feel as if, you know what? She has so many suitors. I'm not going to be amongst one of those suitors. I'm not going to be the, the one to, you know, follow her around. So I, I feel a lot of it. It's like, I want you, like, you know, giving somebody a taste of their medicine, but in a way where it's like, it's all ego driven. It's, it's very much about pride. It's about saving face. It's about not wanting to make a fool out of ourselves and making assumptions about the other person that might not be true. And then you later find out that, oh, all of those guys that she was posting pictures with on Instagram, they're cousins and they're brothers and they're best friends. And, you know, they're, they're people that are not, she's not romantically linked up with. And so I feel like, once again, this situation can be vice versa. And I do feel this mirroring energy where the two of you, so, you know, are, are doing the same thing to one another and making assumptions about one another that might not be true. Okay, so that's what I feel here with this devil energy. It's sort of like the thing that keeps you bound and tied and a lot of it is stubbornness, refusing to apologize, refusing to admit when we make mistakes, refusing to kind of like let our guard down, refusing to just like soften up, okay? So the message I feel that's coming across for you guys is, you know, that white flag, okay? It's about acceptance. It's all also about giving up, but not in a way that you think, not about giving up on a connection. It's pretty much surrendering surrendering to the experience surrendering to the fact that i want to find out what's going on i want some truce truce it's more like a truce than anything so when i said the word surrender i was thinking like okay let, let's say you have your troops okay because the emperor leads soldiers to battle right and um, you have your troops, and if your troops have been kind of like decimated by uh, an, an opposing troop, like a, a, a rival, and let's say you only have like a thousand men left, right? And you know they have 50,000, and there's no way a thousand men can overtake 50,000. And so you wave up that flag, okay? Because in the greater scheme of things, it's about doing the right thing for the men in your charge, right? knowing that if you continue this war the men that are that you're that you're entrusted to take care of they're going to get slaughtered and so in the spirit of doing the right thing we're going to wave our flag we're going to surrender we're going to reach some sort of a truce so that our men can you know at the end of this our men can potentially walk away with their lives intact Okay, so it's about doing the right thing. And so what I feel here is it is all about doing the right thing, looking at things from a different perspective and kind of like dropping that ego and trying to, you know, find a way to communicate, to reach a resolution, to re arrive at a truce so that both sides can feel at peace again. So both sides can feel like can communicate again so that channel of communication can open again so that there is like a mutual understanding all right and then towards the end of the month what we have here is the temperance card and the chariot card both of these cards are major arcana cards and it basically indicates to me 
things are flowing, the communication, like the, the open channel of communication is happening for you, things are moving in the right direction. So even though if you have been, you know, with the other person, working at cross purposes with the other person, making these assumptions and, you know, tit for tat or even even like um, assuming that they're dating other people. So then you detach and then you start dating other people and then you start posting pictures and things like that. Whatever it is that, um, you know, these two people are doing when they're dancing around each other. And not really addressing the issue. I feel like there's going to be an open channel of communication between the two of you where you start to kind of align yourself and start to work towards a common purpose and a common goal. I feel like emotions as well, open, honest, sincere communication is going to come through. The temperance card is all about patience. And it's all about, you know, like, um, it's not opening the floodgate, opening the dam. It's about opening the faucet, letting the trickle of water come in very, very slowly. It's like testing the water, feeling things out, gauging intentions, trying to understand like one step at a time uh, rather than opening the floodgate, okay? But I feel like there's going to be a, an emotional connection happening for you in the month of March and it's going to make you feel really, really good and it's going to answer a lot of questions about the other person's behavior, why they've been acting the way they have been and even what you can do to get the open channel of communications um, up and running again. And so there is going to be a resolution and I feel like Whatever has been keeping you stuck, the opportunity is here to make amends, to reconcile, to finally realize that you both have been waiting on each other all along and, you know, make some amends, okay, like with one another. And I feel like the energy is flowing in so mutually that the two of you do really miss one another. And there's like great feelings and both parties feel really hurt. And I, I just don't like it when, when it's based on a misunderstanding, it's based on like miscommunication or it's based on communication that is sent, but never responded to. And like, you know, these are very, very silly um, circumstances to keep people stuck in. So I feel like there's, it's like doing the right thing, being the bigger person and trying to remedy a situation before it goes further, like it, it gets more sour. And so I feel like there is reconciliation here and it's gonna be really great. And if anything, it's gonna clear up some communication for you guys, you and another person. And the two of you can kind of like work towards a common goal and to move the relationship along as well, okay? So I'm really glad to see this for you and um, Please just be patient, okay? The We're in the midst of Mercury retrograde, so the first two weeks is not going to be pretty for the month of March. And so try not to, you know, um, if, if you need, if like you're communicating with someone, try to have conversations face-to-face -face rather than through text messages where you can't gauge tone and intention. And then if you like, it's, it's always better to over-clarify and over explain than it is to leave things vague and, and, you know, up for interpretation. So just don't assume the other person knows exactly what you mean. It is a really good time to explain your intentions. Okay. 